Genesis 1.16 And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. Good evening, and tonight we'll be discussing the moon. Some aspects of the moon in the heliocentric model. We're told that the moon is 238,000 miles away, rotating around the earth, somewhere around 2,235 miles per hour. Some odd things about the moon, we've only always seen just one side of the moon. We've always seen just this side of the moon, oddly. Um, that's why when people talk about the moon, they say the dark side of the moon. Because this is just the side that we get to see here on Earth. But another strange aspect of the moon is the fact that we're told in the heliocentric model that the moon is actually supposed to be reflecting light from the sun which doesn't make much sense if you ask me but the reason I say that is because every time you see something that's supposed to be moon rock you see something that's supposed to be moon rock and it always has the surface that's a uh, very very non-reflective it, it looks like it could be like cinder block and the idea of something with that surface reflecting light from 93 million miles away if you think about it it doesn't make any sense also what I'm gonna do is uh, test the temperature of the moonlight versus the light in the shade uh, other people have posted videos saying that you know how the Sun puts off a warm warming light how it could be a hundred degrees outside and then in the shade it can be like 90 degrees it'll be a little cooler the way that the moonlight works apparently is that it sends off a cooler light so in the shade it's actually warmer than it is when you're getting direct moonlight it, it has a cooling effect so I got this digital thermometer and I'm gonna just uh, get this thing calibrated a little bit so so here let me uh, uh gonna shoot <laughs> Okay, so that's the laser on the teapot, right about 120 degrees, 123. Uh, I'll shoot this, shoot this little canister down here. All right, that's about 58. I'll do my hand. Okay, where's the? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna shoot my hand and show you. It's about 77. So let me bring it back over here to the teapot. All right, so 127. So, looks like we're calibrated here. Now it's time to move into the first person shooter mode. All right, so what we have here is aluminum foil on a, a little carpet from inside the van. So here, let's just shoot one side. Okay, so that's the far side. We got 16 degrees on that side. Okay, now we're gonna do this other side here. around 14, 15, 19, kind of dancing around here. Other side, 18, 20, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so kind of, kind of within the same, you know, five, 10 degrees. Okay, 15, 14 on that side. Then on the other side, it's like, 16 17 right around there so now uh, let's put the foil in the shade for a minute I'll set up this artificial shade here so now this one side is not getting direct light from the moon and this side is so on this side is still in the moonlight this side is getting shade no direct moonlight so Let's see what happens. So let's do the side with the moonlight first. All right, so we're shooting the side with the moonlight and we got four or five degrees. Okay, let's turn that off. Now we're gonna shoot this side. Okay, and we're at 44, 43. 
Alright, let's do this one more time. This side. That side with the direct moonlight. We're at 4 degrees. Oddly. And now, other side. 47. 48. Okay. Okay. So. That was a little different than uh, what we may have expected to see there. But here, let me remove the shade and let the foil sit for a little bit because it just takes foil a little bit of time. And the clouds are starting to come back, cover the moon. Shining really bright tonight. It's beautiful. Oh, all right. So maybe that was enough time for the aluminum foil to calibrate itself. So let's shoot one side. 0.4 degrees. Other side. Still pretty low over there. All right. Testing again. This side. 0.4 degrees. Okay. This side. About 8 degrees. Let's do this again. Let you watch it. Let you watch it now. Okay, I'll set up, uh, set this up. Uh, I'll set up the shade again. Okay, so now we got shade on the foil. And then we got the side that's in direct moonlight. Okay, so let's do this again one more time. There we go. Showing zero degrees now. Weird. Alright, now the side that's in the shade. Showing 46 again. Okay. Well. We'll call that a wrap for this one. Uh, looks like the moon actually sends out a colder light. Uh, as opposed to what we've been told as far as the moon reflecting sunlight because if it did reflect the sunlight then it would <laughs> that wouldn't do that I could tell you uh, it, it would it would be reflecting a warmer light but that's not what the moon's doing just like uh, it's written in scripture there's a greater light to rule the day that's the lesser light to rule the night that, that's pretty much conclusive there so you saw here that was the moonlight temperature experiment I suppose but uh that's all I got be sure to like and subscribe for more content hit the bell so you can get notification when I post a new video uh, be sure to link up with me and the crew I'm at a new spot now I'll be at FLAT life flat life Fighting Lies Against Truth, and The Future of Flat Earth. That's where I'll be. So, uh, that, that concludes this video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you.